Alright, so this is Transformers Voyager figure uh, Grimlock from the Age of Extinction line. Um, here he is in robot mode. So, first off, we'll take uh, these like armor panels, you fold them out, and then you'll rotate them around his, his uh, forearms there. And they've got these little peg bits that'll click into a hole there in his forearm. So just click, and then you pull that notch back. Same thing, the other arm. Out, spin, flip. So, here. So it looks like that now. Next, we'll take his feet, make his legs completely straight. And then on his feet parts, you'll just flip them down like that. He's like tippy toeing. Right. So next, this whole armor panel here, you'll just flip it up like that. Now you're gonna kinda turn him on his side, and what you wanna start doing is there's these panels here and this panel here what you need to do first you got to kind of separate these panels from the back shoulders here and you want to get this bigger orange panel to kind of slip through between these two larger panels and it can do it it's on this it's on this little skinny gray bar it, it's very possible it's just sometimes it's a fighter so just play with it till you get it to to do what you need to do um, after you can get this panel past these guys go ahead and push these two panels together you're gonna make the top hat you're gonna make the the top of the jaw because this side does not turn into a car it turns into a T-Rex so now that you got the head all formed there go ahead and take this orange panel and kind of just tuck it up as flush as you can with the rest of his neck there and it should fold down over his robot head so it's just like a little spike coming out the rest of this armor panel kind of just push it up against there to hide the rest of his head and you're going to take the legs now and what you want to do just push them up against uh, against uh, this orange panel you're gonna push them up under and against it um, the legs have these little gray notches and there are I won't be able to show them on the camera it's too dark and too deep but there are little peg holes for those to sit in but um, they don't necessarily do a great job of just sitting in those. Um, it's, it's kind of a pain to find them and get them to actually sit in there nicely. And it they tend to pop out also, so don't, don't get too focused on it. Just kind of make sure that the legs end up being pushed up against that orange panel. That's really your most important bit. Um, there's a peg. Oh gosh. In between the toes here, um, you can push them to kind of connect the toes together, but again, it tends to pop apart just like the other leg bit, so don't stress about it. Um, take his T Rex legs and just kind of bring them down so that he's ready to stand. Um, you got these little, these little like uh, hip armor pieces that were on his, or on his hips when he was a robot. Uh, what you just want to do is kind of just bring them up so that they kind of they rest against like the rest of his T-Rex body it kind of covers up some of the the weird bearer looking bits and it's got his little little T-Rex nubby arms on them so just kind of push those flush there's really nothing for them to click into you just kind of set them to where it it looks right and and you go with it so um, pretty quick transformation uh, the hardest part is just the head getting to make sure that uh, the, the one large orange panel passes the two uh, upper jaw halves without getting stuck. But yeah.
Here he is. All T Rexy and stuff. Uh, where's that little button? And he's got he's got this little, little motion button to quick chomp the jar. Yep. Yeah. I'm a man child. <laughs> so there we go. That's the T Rex. Now back to robot. I always just start by pushing those legs out like that. Flip down. Uh, the tail to form the two robot legs, separate them, toe, toe, so now you got some standing parts. Um, when he's in a robot mode, uh, those little, like, rib cage panels that were holding his arms, they do become these weird little, like, thigh armor bits, and there are notches for these to click into, but, I, I don't know, I mean, it sits well, but it's just kind of weird. Um, Sometimes they'll pop in and out just as you maneuver him. Don't stress too much about where those sit. Just focus on more keeping the arms out of the way while you do the rest of the, the transformation because these little T-Rex arms can get jammed up in some of the parts right here if you're not keeping an eye on where they're sitting. Um, so you can bring down this orange panel now. Uh, that'll line flush with the rest, give you most of the torso right there. Next. Back with the T-Rex head, what we're going to do work on getting that separated. So, pull up this orange panel from the back here, just kind of make it loose and open. Try the T-Rex head, there we go, separate the lower and the upper jaws, and then separate the two halves of the upper jaw. Let the orange panel pass between them first. Um, in robot mode, it's just going to kind of sit on top of the lower jaw here. The lower jaw really doesn't end up doing anything fancy while it's in robot mode. It just kind of it just kind of sits here. It, it's, it's not the greatest. Um, you can kind of tuck it up like that, but yeah, that's about it. It basically just kind of winds up sitting here. <laughs> um, for the the top jaw parts, let's see if we can get it. So right there where this finger is, you'll see some little gray pegs. And there are little notches back in here. I don't even know. There, right, right there. Right there. For, for those pegs to click into. So just kind of easiest way to do it when you're lining it up get these jaw things as high angle as you can so they're not in your way and you should be able to just press them and you'll feel a little a little uh, uh, <clears throat> you'll feel a little snap as they kind of click together um, they don't hold super tight though so don't don't freak out about it uh, after you get them in just kind of rest the jaw over the shoulder uh, the horn on each half, you can kind of angle it however you want, however you think looks cool. Uh, rotate down his shoulders, and then for his little uh, T-Rex feet, swivel that spike in, unclick it from the forearm, spin it around, and it will click back onto the back of the, the arm like that. Same thing, swivel, click. Dude, dude. There you go. And now he is back to a robot again. Not too bad. And uh, for this guy, uh, he, he came with a different thing. Um, I just happened to have this particular little gun thing. So, got a little laser gun and pew pew. Pew pew. But um, the other cool thing about this laser gun, what you can do. So that's a little handle for it. You can kind of push it back in and then stand Grimlock. So you can, you can push that uh, handle back in, it kind of tucks in. And then this little tab up here, if you push it down, it turns into a, like a big energy axe weapon. And if what you do when you push it down, you kind of like tip the notch in, it'll stay as that energy axe weapon. Mm. 
Grimlock looks pretty cool carrying that one around, so I like to let him hold that. And just watch, watch. So, woohoo! There you go.